It is Halloween 2022 and you're watching The Code Report. The number one goal of every JavaScript framework developer is to make the world a better place. The second goal is to make tons of money. Unfortunately, this almost never happens. Except today, Remix, the React framework, was acquired by Shopify. For those that don't know, Remix is a framework similar to Next.js from the team behind React Router. While it only has a small fraction of the actual adoption of Next.js, it's been highly influential in the React ecosystem. Like many of the features announced in Next 13 last week appear to be inspired by features in Remix like nested layouts, although one could argue that these features have been around forever in PHP frameworks and elsewhere. What's interesting though is that less than a year ago, Shopify came out with its own React framework called Hydrogen. Like Next13, Hydrogen uses React server components, which is the React team's official solution for server-side rendering. Remix, on the other hand, takes an entirely different approach that doesn't rely on React server components. Now that Shopify is taking over stewardship of Remix, it creates this weird schism around server-side rendering in React. Like do React server components totally suck, or are they the future? Shopify said, quote, while we're excited for the future of RSC long-term, as a critical dependency, it presented a number of challenges that became performance risks for our developers and bottlenecks for our progress. And they also talk about how they want a clear separation between client and server code. That makes total sense for Shopify, which is built itself with Ruby on Rails, which has a strong separation of concerns. It looks like their plan is to replace server components with Remix over the coming months, but Remix will still remain its own independent open source project. If you're a Remix user, I think this is definitely a good thing. Shopify, although its stock is down 75% the last year, is a great company that will battle test this framework on their platform. React server components, though, are being battle tested by Facebook, whose stock is also down about 70%. The reason the stock price is important in this context is because restricted stock units are a big part of compensation at both Meta and Shopify, and that just feels kind of demoralizing for the people who are employed to work on these frameworks full time. On top of that, it seems like in 2022, people are becoming a lot more open-minded about alternative frameworks like Svelte, Solid, and Quick looking dank AF right now, but only time will tell if they can become goaded with the sauce. In fact, I chose Svelte over React to rebuild the Fireship Pro website recently, and I have absolutely no regrets. The website is smaller, faster, and most importantly, it was just way more fun to build. In any case, React is not going anywhere anytime soon, and this is just the latest chapter in the great JavaScript framework war. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.